Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and I want to talk about a smartphone that has a whole new angle on the industry. So this is the ZTE Axon M, and it has a foldable dual screen display. So yeah, that's right. So normal smartphones have one screen. The Axon M has two, and it's got this really secure hinge that you just pivot it open, and suddenly you're seeing the full picture. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? So basically, it has a 5.2 inch screen on one side and a 5.2 inch screen on the other side. And it's a 1080 by 1920 resolution. It's got Gorilla Glass uh, Generation 5, so you could throw it in your pocket and not worry about your keys uh, scratching it up. It's running Android Nougat right now. Uh, should be upgradable to Oreo fairly soon. It's got a 20 megapixel camera, which I'll go into later. Quad core Snapdragon processor. It's got four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of uh, onboard storage, but it's expandable via micro SD slot to 256 gigabytes. Um, it has Dolby Atmos, which fire out of the uh, dual speakers at the bottom, and it has a quick charge 3.0 on here, so you can charge this thing really quick. So I want to walk through some of the innovative features and especially the foldable dual screen design that has a lot of great use cases for people like me, for my kids, for business people. You name it, there is some real innovation when you have a foldable dual screen display here and it's going to make you go, hmm, I kind of wish that my smartphone that I currently have would have something like that. So let's take a look at some of the features. So let's first talk about what comes in the box. So you basically have your uh, quick charger here. This is a USB uh, type C charger, um, quick charge. It also comes with a uh, dongle here, so if you need to uh, have an adapter and you only have a micro uh, USB, you can actually use that cable to plug it in and it adapts to a, a, a USB type C. And there is a very handy little um, SIM card removal tool. And this is kind of important because if you want to like swap out the, the memory and put in a um, micro SD card, you're gonna wanna use this tool. I use like a paper clip or a little pin to do it, but it's kinda nice that it comes with it. And yes, it comes with just your traditional headphones. And it's got a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. So these are standard headphones. No need to rush out and buy some new headphones. So let's take a look at the device itself, what you get on the side. So on the side here, you have a little slot for the, uh, the micro SD and the nano SIM. So using the tool, you pop that out and you put both things in there at the same place. It's got the volume rocker here. It's got power, which also acts as a fingerprint reader, fairly easy to set up and seems to recognize pretty well. And then you have a um, quick launch button and you can go quickly into TV mode, which I'll show later, uh, just by pushing that button, even from the lock screen. So at the bottom, you have your two speakers. You have your USB type C charger. On the side, obviously, is this hinge. And then at the top, you have the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that's really nice to have. And that's a microphone on the top. Uh, you have the two screens. On the back, there really isn't anything other than this really innovative way to keep the screens really locked together. You see these little notches here. When it's closed, it keeps the, the screen from moving. So now that you kind of have an idea of what this thing looks like, let's take a look at how it actually works, specifically in the dual screen uh, foldable mode. Uh, there are a lot of different ways that you can use it and it's really quite innovative. 
So before I go into the four different really innovative screen modes that uh, the ZTE Axon M has, I want to sort of explain where that M comes from. So, and the hint is really in the startup. So I'm going to power this up right now. And if you watch carefully, um, once it gets past this login screen, you're going to see uh, the M show up. Well, first there's the foldable and it changes into an M. So that's kind of where they got the idea, kind of neat. And so the Axon M is only available through AT&T. So you're gonna have to head over there to pick one of these up. And I'll go into the pricing in a little bit after that. So let's talk about the four screen modes. So first of all, I'm gonna log in and I've already programmed in my uh, fingerprint here. I just press on it. Of course, I have to use my pin when I log in for the first time. So I'm gonna take that off screen, do it really quick, and then I'll show you how that works uh, once you're logged in. So I can lock it really quick. And here, turned it on and it unlocked almost instantly. Um, so here you have your traditional Android Nougat layout. Um, very elegant, easy to move around widgets. You can swipe up to get all your other apps. Um, I'm kind of, haven't used Android in a while, so it's kind of fun to go through and sort of figure out everything again. Uh, you have your traditional swap down to, to see your notifications in your control panel. So this is what we call sort of the traditional single screen. This is what you get on most smartphones, one screen. But then you also have, there's a little button down at the bottom. It's a soft, soft button that has the M. And this allows you to go into the other screen mode. So I'm gonna actually open this up here. It's fairly easy to do, get the right orientation. And then I'm gonna click on the M and change the mode. So you can see there are four modes listed here. So right now I'm just in single screen mode there's a, a dual screen mode, so you can have two things running separately. There is a widescreen extended mode, and then there's a mirror mode. So let's take a look at the uh, dual screen mode here. So all I have to do is click on that. It gives me a hint here. So you use three fingers to move an app from one side to another. So right now it's on dual screen. You can see it's showing everything that was down below. If I were to launch Google, for example, Google Chrome, it's gonna fire up here. Here's my website. Let's see if I can do this. If I use three fingers, I can just pull it across and it goes onto the other screen. And likewise, if I wanna put it back on the other side, it does that. So the neat thing about that is I can then launch some other type of application if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to do, um, I don't know, launch a PowerPoint or, or a Word document or, or something like that where I'm taking notes on something that's over here. I can uh, be working on a Word document on one screen and then like reviewing stuff on another screen. So this is extremely helpful for um, people who want to multitask. So like I said, it's got the web browser on one side and if I wanted to switch it over, I can just drag it across and likewise uh, do it the, the other way as well. So that's pretty innovative. Then it also has what we call a widescreen. So suddenly here is my website in widescreen. So the only annoying thing is there is a bit of a um, line down the middle, so it makes it kind of hard reading it that way. But what's great is you can pivot it, and then suddenly it actually makes a lot more sense. And you see the full screen here, and you, you, you can actually read a lot more and see a lot more as you scroll through things. So that is um, the extended mode, and this is actually like almost six and a half, almost 6.6 uh, inches screen size. So there are actually some apps that are optimized 
for this extended mode. Some of them are like YouTube and Facebook. Uh, and you can also force your apps to go into this extended mode and, and it's in the settings and you can just say extend all apps and it'll try to do it in this extended mode. So uh, pretty handy. So if you wanted to, you could do dual screen mode in this uh, landscape format and just you press that button and here it is in two different modes. So here I am in Word and I can scroll through. So it doesn't really matter which orientation you're in, you can be doing this dual screen mode. Now, um, one of the really neat things that I found is that um, there is this one called mirror mode. And I think this is a feature made for my kids. And I'll tell you why. Um, if you go and you launch something like YouTube, I know my kids just love showing different types of uh, uh, movies to each other. And they're sitting around on a table somewhere and they're, they're struggling to see everything. All you gotta do is flip it into tent mode and you can put it down like this and you're seeing exactly the same thing on both sides so like I can fire up a video here and you can see it's showing on that side and on that side so you can have a ton of people just looking at the same video at the same time so this is really great for kids I think um, and then there is one more mode that I haven't talked about and that's TV mode. So there is a uh, button, a quick launch button on the side here and you can customize it to a, a particular application. I actually customized it to um, YouTube and it, here it is, it's launching into uh, TV mode and I still have it obviously in the, the dual screen mode but I can then just view it as a full screen video, you know, in either direction. And it actually is a little bit different. So in uh, the portrait mode, you can see the full video, but in uh, this mode, you can be watching the video and you can scroll through and actually like read comments or whatever you want about a particular video that, that you're showing right there. And that's all launchable from this uh, quick launch button here. So um, one more really cool thing once I uh, exit out of here. And again, you always can use this, uh, this uh, app on the side, the soft buttons on the side. Um, if I go back here, I've put uh, Instagram on here. My kids love Instagram. I launched that and the really neat thing about Instagram is I can actually show it in full screen here. And this is a great way to uh, look through various Instagram posts, scroll through and you see really big pictures and, and that sort of thing. So these four modes are really fantastic. So again, it's, you can have single screen mode, just to review, here's single screen. You can do dual screen, which has two different apps running at the same time, which is very handy if you're multitasking. Then you can have mirror mode. Uh, so you activate this side. You can do mirror mode where both are showing the same thing and it's very responsive, they stay in sync and you can put it into a tent mode so that both people see the same thing. And then you have, lastly, extended mode. And again, you can force extended mode if you want to, but there are some apps that are optimized that way. So here you can see a lot more. It's good for old eyes like mine to actually zoom in and see more stuff. And then lastly, you have TV mode where you can view something on the top like for apps that are optimized and then you have uh, uh, the comments and that sort of thing available. So one of the benefits with having this running with AT&T is you have 
DirecTV as a possible option for your um, extended mode or for the TV mode, but I, I don't have DirecTV, so I just set up YouTube as, as my TV mode. So let's take a look at a few more things on the Axon M and then we'll call it a wrap. So one more thing I wanted to talk about and that's the camera. So there's only one camera. There is no camera on this side. It is just on uh, the, the main phone. And this is a 20 megapixel camera. And you can see it there, it's got the flash. Um, that's great and all, but I was like, okay, well, how does the thing work? So you can configure this quick launch button. I have it set for two clicks to launch the camera. And it, it said, oh, you gotta turn it to the other screen. So right now, it's in the traditional camera mode. So like, if it, here you can see the camera, on this side is, uh, here, I can flip it around here. That's a traditional camera, I can just take a picture and boom, that's great. But uh, if I wanna do selfie mode, I get to flip it around, it's reminding me to do that. And here it is, looking at me, and again, we're using the 20 megapixel camera, so I probably should have shaved or something because you're gonna see all the uh, stubble on my face here because that's 20 megapixels right there. So I can take a selfie. There are different modes that you can do. Maybe I need beautify. That may make me look a little better. But uh, you can take the picture and away you go. So kind of neat about the uh, about the uh, the camera being dual use. You can see it on both screens. It makes a lot of sense. And again, that's the innovation of this foldable dual screen display. So let's quickly talk about availability. So it is available right now um, on, at AT&T. They're the exclusive uh, provider of it. So you can uh, get it for $24.17 a month or you can buy it flat out for $7.24.99. It also comes with uh, something called the Axon Passport M program, which is basically a two-year premium protection. So I, I, I don't know all the details on it, but I think if you damage it in some way or something isn't working for up to two years, they're gonna hook you up and, and either repair it or replace it. But don't quote me on that. You gotta check the, the fine print on that. And this thing is available now, so you can pick it up. And I really wanna thank uh, ZTE for sending me one of these to test out and I'm really had a lot of fun with it and I can't wait to let my my kids get their hands on it particularly for that uh, dual viewing mode I have a feeling they're gonna be fighting over this thing um, to watch videos together or watch movies you can set it up and have Netflix or HBO running on both screens and it really will make kind of a really nice viewing environment anyway if you have any questions you can feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at High Tech Dad, and always I have lots of reviews and how to's and tons of articles on my website, and that's at www.hightechdad.com. And lastly, head on over to my Facebook page, and that's at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog.